Welkom terug, hier is ingeskakel hier by Expresso op SABC3 op die goed voel donderdag ochend. Of course, we're in the kitchen for the last time this morning before we say goodbye, but it's easy as pie. We've been making the most incredible recipes and Kate joins us right now and she's yet to make us another mouth-watering one. We're making a baked chicken, mushroom and bacon pie and this, what I see in front of me is literally mouth-watering. Kate, very nice to have you back with us. Thank you. And, oh, that smell, it's just you frying up the bacon there. Just, yes. It's incredible, beautiful. I can't wait to get started with our breakfast this Bacon morning. Bacon makes everything taste great. <laughs> um, so what I've got in here is a little bit of butter and I'm just sauteing the bacon in the butter. Mm -hmm. um, I've got some quartered buttered mushrooms that I'm going to chuck in here as well. Nice. And give these a quick saute in, in this butter with the bacon. Yeah. So it's going to pick up all those lovely crispy flavors from the bacon. And then what I'm going to do is add a little bit of flour. Okay, so, what does um, that do? That's going to mix with the with the butter. You know, have you, have, you know when you make a white sauce, yes. you melt butter and you add flour. So basically, what that's going to do is melt, mix with the butter and make a roux, and that's going to be what's thickening, going to thicken our pie. Brilliant. Now, when we add our stuff. normally when it comes to making pies, a lot of people think, yeah, you know what, I'd rather go buy a wine or whatnot. But the theme is easy as pie. How easy is it? This is very easy. You see, we've just uh, we've just done some bacon, some mushrooms, added um, a little bit of flour. Yeah. Um, I can I'm just see that flour add... soaked up all the butter now. Yeah, it's perfect. So it's actually made quite a quite a loose roux. And then we're going to slowly add some chicken stock. A mm -hmm. little bit at a time. Beautiful. Just mix it in and it's going to thicken nicely. You can see it's starting to thicken oh, immediately. That smells, especially with the, the mushroom flavor releasing now. Mm. If you've just tuned in, it's easy as pie in the Espresso Kitchen today. Right now, Kate is uh, showing us how to make a baked chicken, mushroom and bacon pie. Very, very easy. You can try this at home, why don't you? SMS the keyword chicken to 33728. We'll send you everything you need to know to recreate this magnificent dish at home. Chicken okay. stock going in. It's chicken stock going in. And so we just it's going to make quite a thick sauce. So you want to just bring it to the boil. So. Because with a with a white sauce or um, a, this is actually yeah. called a velouté if you want to really a, a velouté a velouté if you yeah. want to get properly French <laughs> um, with it, with anything that's thickened with butter and, butter and flour it thickens when it boils so Please. we want to bring this up to the boil okay and while that's happening all I've got here is just some roast chicken that we've shredded so okay. it makes it easy as pie if you nip out to the closest <laughs> shop. And actually, you can just buy a roast chicken. Exactly, or, or maybe leftovers. if you have those leftovers, yeah. Mm. So it's quite a quite a cool thing to use leftovers for. Um, Brilliant. Chicken's going in. That looks delicious. And then we're just going to finish off with a little bit of fresh thyme. Okay. Fresh thyme that going goes in. in. Yeah, you can use dry thyme if you haven't got any fresh. No, but fresh is would delicious. Be great. Yeah. And then we're just going to add a little squeeze of lemon. Mm. Um, just gonna just to balance it out a bit yeah. and gives it a bit of tartness. A bit of seasoning. Seasoning is very important. Looks beautiful. That keyword uh, once again. If you want to try your hand at making this delicious baked chicken, mushroom, and bacon pie this morning, SMS the keyword chicken to three three seven two eight. That's chicken to three three seven two eight. We'll send you everything you need: the shopping list, the link to the recipe, and, the, and uh, then you could recreate this at home. Want to try it or give it a go this evening or tonight or this afternoon? Grab that. And spoil your family a little bit. <laughs> okay, okay, so um, our pie filling's done. You want to put it into a nice pie dish. Now this is cool. Did, did you do you have to let it stand or? Um, you no, know you don't. Okay. If you're gonna cook it from hot, you need to get your pastry on quickly and straight into a hot oven, which is gonna yes. be at about 200 degrees C. Um, if it's cool, you can. If you want to keep it in the fridge or freeze it. I would suggest you wait for it to cool before you put your pastry on. Okay. So um, all I've done is just egg wash the side of the, the, all right. the lasagna dish and I'm just going to literally take the pastry. And the pastry you can buy at your yeah. local supermarket. Absolutely, yeah. Okay. You want to get puff pastry. Okay. Um, sorry, I'm just... To get that nice crispy effect at the end. Yes, and it, li it rises and it's quite light and fluffy. Okay. So all I've done is we're just going to... give you a hand here. Yeah, so we're just going to make a pretty design around the side. Okay, it's a little bit excess on this side. No, it's fine. Is it's that no fine? Problem. Yeah, no. So we, we just, just stuck it in. Yeah, I'll show you how to do it. Okay, well, I'd rather have you do it. I feel... <laughs> <laughs> I feel... <laughs> so we just... We want to just push the pastry up against the side of your dish. Yeah. So that... Um, so that it doesn't pull away. Oh, nice. So Creating create, that nice effect as yes, well, all so around. Just take a knife and just cut okay. like that. Just easy peasy. That's it. And Let's then we're just going to push that there. 
and keep all your excess pastry bits because you often find, you know, you see homemade pies and they've yeah. got little leaves and so stuff you can, on them. So you can maybe do a little decoration. There. Absolutely, yeah. Okay, let me get started on that actually. Yeah, just you for can, fun. So you can cut out a leaf shape or a bird shape. No, or... I'll, just, I'll just start rolling this for fun. <laughs> and then once you've done that, you pop it into the oven for how long? Yeah, there's one quite important thing is you need to just put a little hole in the, in the middle of your pie. And that is just for the moisture or the... The air to come out, otherwise to... um, it gets quite... It doesn't crisp up as nicely. And we're okay. just going to egg wash the top. Brilliant. So while I finish up my last piece of decoration, still thinking, what am I going to do with this guy? <laughs> um, the keyword for our baked chicken, mushroom and bacon pie this morning, very, very beautiful, very delicious, like you've seen, is uh, chicken, 233728. SMS that, and um, we'll send you on everything you need to know on how to make this pie. But uh, if you've missed any of the steps myself and Kate took in creating this wonderful dish this morning, here's a quick look back. Fry bacon in butter, then add mushrooms. Stir in the flour, then slowly stir in the stock. Simmer for five minutes. Add chicken, thyme, lemon, and seasoning. Pour chicken into pie dish and top with puff pastry. Egg wash and make a hole in the center. Bake until golden brown. And the keyword chicken, two, three, three, seven, two, eight. Man, we are wow. just salivating right now. Kate, okay, thank you so much. Amazing. Jimmy, dude, how's that? That looks yeah. crazy. You know what? You earned this one this morning with your beautiful performances this yeah. morning. Thank you so much, Good man. Job. You can you can definitely have a piece. I feel of pie. like this is why I came on the show this morning. <laughs> <laughs> this is, we knew you liked pie, you know. That so, is thanks, well, man. he actually came on the show to talk about his 2014 year. So, Jimmy, thanks so much for joining us. No, thank you so much. Yeah. Once again, I'm daily serious. I feel like I just came. For this. <laughs> Dude, 